Most of the rainfall is wrapping around the center of Beta, which if that is not if actually very heavy as we colorize satellite, notice it almost looks like the clouds disappear. Well, it's because those clouds aren't very high in the atmosphere, so they're not showing up as any kind of intense rainfall. Circulation is going to be moving toward Louisiana over the next couple of days. By late Thursday and into Friday, it will be in a position where we will then be on the backside. That will start helping not only dry us out, but also help to push the water away. So model indicating more rainfall our way as that circulation moves in our direction. But as we've seen over the last couple of days, I'm kind of hesitant only because we have not seen a whole lot of rainfall. But I do think as that circulation center does move toward us, we should start to see at least some rainfall. Rainfall totals though, next couple of days may be some of the wettest at around one to two inches possible. And right now we are starting to see a lot of southeast Louisiana removed from the flash flood watch. However, there's a weather prediction center is still placing us under a slight risk for some flooding rains tomorrow as well as on into Thursday. And they may have to reevaluate that as we uh, kind of get closer to tomorrow. If none of that rainfall actually materializes, it may not be too much of a flooding threat. Coastal concerns, though, are going to stay up at least until Friday or excuse me, Thursday at high tide. Then as we get later into the night or on Thursday, Thursday, Friday, winds will be shifting direction. We'll be approaching low tide and we should start to see that water receding out of the area. We had also been talking about that one little disturbance south of Florida, actually over Cuba. Do you see anything there? No, but this is an area that the Hurricane Center is highlighting as a 10, basically low end chance of doing anything, but not really liking to do anything uh, in terms of formation. We do have Teddy, which is moving up toward Nova Scotia, then eventually Newfoundland. Paulette reformed. Remember that it's going to dissipate over the eastern Atlantic. And as I mentioned, that was the last advisory of beta, and it does look like we're going into a quieter period in the Atlantic Basin, which we need to, and maybe we'll wrap up September fairly quiet. Our weather is going to be fairly quiet, warmer, more humid with a lot of sunshine. I did talk about a cold front, but probably not coming into the forecast area until next Wednesday.